there is one more way to pass the data from parent to the child component and this time we will be using the template reference variable so let's open this src folder app and this is the public components that we are using here is the home page and this is the html okay let's open the child component as well app author and it is available inside this shared folder so here it is if the parent component will try to access the data from the child component then directly it cannot access it for that we can use a template reference variable over here so let's say here i'm using authors okay just go to the authors component and over here let's create one more public method so here i'm creating public this is the method that i'm using over here and let's just remove this entire input code let's make this public and this is the data and we will get some data as an input in this method like this and let's assign this data to this data property like this so this is a very simple code we are having a method and we are setting some data in this property with the help of this method let's remove this code as well and here you can see that we are not using input anywhere even i can remove it from this import as well let's remove this code also so here we are having only the author works basically this is the child component and this is the data that will come from the parent so here is the text and this is the actual data now go to this home component and here because this time we are not having the input property so i have to remove everything from here like this okay so let's get one more button over here and here i'm writing pass data to child so i want to pass the data from this parent to child on click of this particular button so here let's use the click event and in this click event with the help of this authors i can call the methods and properties from the child component so we are having this method set data and i can use it over here like this and here i can pass any value let's say i'm passing one save the changes go back to the browser let's click on this particular button and here you can see we are getting one so we are getting this data on click of this particular button this is also one of the approach that you can use to pass the data from parent to child.